580 in San Leandro is partially open at this hour after a police chase brought that freeway to a halt. This is how it started, though. Apparently a killing inside a Pleasanton home triggered a police chase that then turned that East Bay freeway into a parking lot. NBC Bears Jody Hernandez joins us live in Pleasanton. And Jody, what do we know about this death in Pleasanton? That's very unusual for that small enclave. Very unusual for Pleasanton, Jessica. As you can see, police investigators are still at the scene. This is where it all started. Uh, police are trying to determine what led to the deadly shooting of a mother, a shooting that's left a community shaken and caused a chaotic scene on the freeway. It's a safe place. And a safe neighborhood in a, a very safe city. But that sense of safety unraveled this morning when the sound of gunfire broke out in this Pleasanton townhome community. This morning at around 11 a.m., we received a 911 call that there was gunshots in the area of Saginaw Circle. When officers arrived on scene, they found a female victim that was deceased and had, she had several gunshot wounds. A neighbor also reported a black Lexus leaving the scene. As police arrived, they spotted the car and began following it westbound on Interstate 580. That vehicle became disabled, we're unsure of how, uh, in the area of 580 and 150th in the city of San Leandro. The CHP, San Leandro Police and the Alameda County Sheriff's Department all responded. An hours long standoff finally ending when police say they discovered the suspect dead inside the car on 580 from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Police have not identified the suspect or the victim, but they do believe children lived in the Pleasanton home. The kids were not there when the shooting took place. It's an absolute tragedy. Uh, you know, our, our thoughts and prayers go out to the family of the victim, and, and we're going to try and uh, find every uh, piece of evidence that we can so we can understand what happened here today. Neighbors say they can't believe such a heartbreaking tragedy happened here. Wow. It's horrible. It's absolutely horrible. Whenever a child's uh, something traumatic like this happens to a child's family, then the whole school system, all the kids' friends, the, the whole community is affected by it. And we're back here live in Pleasanton where you can see crime scene investigators are still out here. Police have not disclosed what the relationship is between the suspect and the victim, but they say they're determined to get to the bottom of what led to this all. They're also determined to support the children and the family impacted. Reporting live in Pleasanton, I'm Jody Hernandez, NBC Bay Area News. Thank you, Jody. Now, as we mentioned, that chase ultimately ended on 580 in San Leandro, triggering a full closure that turned the freeway into a parking lot for hours. NBC Bay Area's Christy Smith joins us live from San Leandro, where some lanes are even still closed at this hour, aren't they, Christy? Yeah, that's right, and that's because investigators are still on scene on the freeway. So the last we checked, there were still uh, two lanes that were closed in the westbound direction of 580. We're at Fairmont Drive. I want to give you uh, a look at what the freeway looks like at this hour. And while it has been sparking some pretty big slowdowns, the traffic situation has improved from what we saw earlier today. That was about noon when westbound 580 was closed at 164th and eastbound at 150th. As officers and deputies tried to figure out whether the murder suspect inside that black Lexus uh, was still a threat, the resulting backup was massive. Eastbound lanes finally reopened just after an hour later, followed by two of the westbound lanes. But tonight, as the investigation continues, lanes are still shut down. Drivers have spent much of the day trying to figure out how to get around the gridlock. We spoke with some people near the scene about the traffic. We went off the off ramp and so we were only stuck for about 20 minutes, but I knew it was going to be hours because it just happened like it just stopped right when we're, we were on the freeway and I'm like, no, it's not going anywhere. It's been backed up. They actually just recently opened the traffic back up. It was blocked all the way down almost to Hayward and it was blocked way over by the Oakland Zoo and they're just they're just not letting people get through. I did speak with the CHP by phone a short time ago about when those last lanes might reopen. They say at this point uh, they didn't have an exact time, but they did tell me that a tow truck was called to the scene and is on the way. Reporting live in San Leandro, Christy Smith, NBC Bay Area News. Okay, long afternoon for short. Thank you, Christy.